Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the brain-eating amoeba. Its technical name is Negleria fowleri and has a fatality rate of over 99%. In fact, only three people have survived this amoeba infection in the last 50 years in the U.S. Where is it found? It's found in fresh water and its ideal neighborhood is high temperature and low water levels. So the amoeba doesn't get to you during winter but September is a pretty good month for it to get to you. So is July and August. How do you get infected? If this infected water goes up your nose you'll probably be dead very soon. So if you're swimming, jumping, diving or playing in water you are a prime target. It gets a little complicated because kids get water up their nose all the time. Remember when you were a kid how many times water went up your nose? Now once this water goes up your nose the amoeba is going to stick on to the tissues of the nose. Here it's going to do two things. Number one it's going to divide and reproduce and increase its numbers and form an army. Number two, the army of amoeba is going to climb from the nose into your brain and eat your brain cells. The amoeba starts its infection in the olfactory mucosa and cribriform plate of the nasal tissue. It's going to kill the olfactory bulbs and also cause hemorrhage. Then it's going to climb over the nerve fibers and get into your brain. A very fast process because the nose is very close to your brain and they both are directly connected. The amoeba is going to use its sucking organ to feast on the brain cells. After eating enough brain cells it becomes pathogenic meaning that it causes a disease. The fatal disease is called primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, also called PAM or PAIM. This disease is going to destroy further brain tissue and cause swelling and eventually cause death. Let's talk about the symptoms of this disease. The initial symptoms of PAM starts after about five days after infection. Number one, you're going to notice changes in smell and taste or you may seem to have no smell or taste. Number two, you're going to have headaches, fever and vomiting. Number three, you'll have stiff neck, confusion and inability to focus. Number four, you're going to see loss of balance, seizures and uh, also going to have hallucinations. At this point, you can't walk or talk much, so you're going to be hospitalized. Finally, the disease is going to progress rapidly and you will die in about six days. How to prevent this disease? Drinking this water is okay, but make sure the water doesn't go up your nose. Use plenty of chlorine in the swimming pool. Or avoid playing in fresh water and go to the beach. Number three, use nose clips when swimming or diving. Number four, avoid nose irrigation and religious dip underwater. Number five, don't do submerging tricks or blowing nose bubbles underwater. Number six, if you get into a lake or pond, keep your head above water and don't stir up the sediment at the bottom. Number seven, Go to good standard water parks. Don't go to um, some cheap crappy place that doesn't put enough chlorine. Let's talk about the treatment of this disease. Your chance of survival dramatically increases if you get medical help right away. If you see the symptoms, go to the doctor immediately and tell him that you might have a serious infection. Treatment also involves surgery and experimental drug called Impavido. But other than that, no approved effective drugs so far.
there are no vaccines either for this disease and the fatality rate is over 99 percent so unless you're very lucky you won't survive I hope you won't get this disease and I hope the video was useful to you please do share the video with your friends and please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and please subscribe